and I wanted to quickly review and let you know why I'm obsessed and why I love them and will I buy more and do I regret hello welcome to my channel my name is Enora if you're new to my channel if you're my subscriber thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos today is going to be a video of comparing these three baguettes that I have in my collection um, as you guys see that I have a problem and I have an obsession a little bit of an obsession with Fendi baguettes and I love them all and I want to compare all of the three I have in-depth review and comparison of these two in my channel go check out I'm gonna link it here but I recently purchased this one and I wanted to quickly review and let you know why I'm obsessed and why I love them and will I buy more and do I regret yeah let's go and review all of these items I just want to let you know that I mainly do reviews and unboxing of luxury items uh, handbags shoes jewelry so if you guys like this kind of videos please subscribe to my channel like my videos and follow me on Instagram where I show all of my items how I style it out of all the days and all that stuff so I have three Fendi baguettes and this is actually my most favorite I think after Chanel um, Fendi is I think a little after Chanel that I love like the brand that I love uh, so much I love Fendi because I love that they are classic yet stylish yet edgy and I I fell in love with baguette bags and I don't know it's just this style is so me I really like um, when my bag is a top handle, when it's a crossbody, and when it's so just soft and um, easy to use, I just really love it. I'm not gonna do a, like an in-depth comparison and review because I have a review and a comparison video already of this too, and I covered most of the details there, so go check out. But I wanna just. Um, just talk about these and why I love them. My first ever baguette bag was a dark blue baguette in the leather. I actually unboxed it on in this channel. I'm gonna link it here as well. I covered why I bought it and I actually sold it because not because I hate or not because I don't like it because I actually have a lot of blue bags in my collection I thought I would be better off buying um, a different color baguette style like a baguette bag because uh, dark blue was just too repetitive in my um, wardrobe and my like collection and that's why I really wanted something like a neutral bag and I when I saw this baguette um, in this beautiful beige color I am not really into beige I'm into more cooler uh, tones like blues greens whites and like that so for me it was so surprising that I fell in love with this beautiful beige bag but it's not your simple beige bag it's not it is still has some edgy like unique style because it's so puffy it's so soft and it has this embossed FF logos on it and it's, it just makes this bag a bit like edgy and stylish and unique and that's why and that's why I'm okay with the beige color of this bag I really love it it's so spacious it's in, actually in the lambskin and mine is in the lambskin and I had it for quite a while and it has no wear and tear and I am not really careful with this bag I wear this bag I don't really baby it and it still holds up amazing and most what I love about Fendi is they are so generous with their straps. You don't have to buy another extra strap with your bags. Any, with any of the bags, they come with two straps most of the time. And if you want to buy another like Fendi uh, strap just to because because you want to kind of dress up your bag or be, or make it more um, unique, then you can buy 
you can buy a strap which is this one I have this one and it goes perfectly with this bag and I bought it because I just fell in love with how it is unique and it has this vel like velvety um, like touch to it I'm not sure what what is it like a suede or something it's just amazing I love this um, love this strap it goes so well with this bag it goes so perfectly well with my dark uh, with my sorry with my black uh, baguette and I just really love it this uh, bag my Fendi baguette goes so well as a everyday bag and you can also wear this bag as a dressy bag um, in the evening it's so spacious it fits so much in it um, it's just I actually I actually have a Zumani a organizer inside it it does it does have no structure almost because it's so soft that's why I want I have a, a this um, Zumani organizer they kindly gifted to me and I really love it so much I actually have a um, discount code down below I'm gonna link it down here on the, the description box but I really love this bag and I think I, it does make sense to have an organizer because it does lose shape but that's the beauty of it you don't want a baguette in this very structured um, style because uh, it just loses that edginess that soft and easy looking style so I really love how they made this so 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 like soft um, version of it I would recommend the medium size uh, for everyday bag. This the medium size is perfect for everyday. It fits a um, ton of stuff. At the end of the video, I will cover what fits in this bag. After I bought the beige bag, I wanted something um, in the Fendi Zuka print. I think uh, the Zuka print is an amazing. Um, just amazing style I love it so much I love this F, 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 like and I literally love I really love this mini tiny bag yet it has this big um, original um, clasp as you guys see the medium and the mini has the same size like a hardware as you can see but yet this bag is mini and that's why it just looks so great with the original hardware it just looks so substantial i really love that i got the mini because it's so cute you can just wear this every day it's so casual and actually it's very durable the canvas is very durable i don't see anywhere and i love this bag because it goes so well as a as a daily bag because it fits a ton even though it's tiny it fits so much believe me and I really love how you can actually uh, dress up this bag with this um, chain strap which is amazing because it just dresses up the bag and you can wear this as an everyday as a you can wear this bag as an evening bag it goes so well as a top handle it goes so well as a shoulder and crossbody bag and I do wear sometimes this bag as a belt bag which I'm going to show you at the end of the video how I wear it but I really love I went with the mini because I feel like the Zuka print in this size is a bit too loud and that's why I went with the mini size and I don't regret it and I think it's a great great size and great cute like classic Fendi Zuka I mean print it's just like you can never go wrong with this style and with the size it's so great I really love it I'm so happy that I have this bag in my collection because I'm very obsessed with Fendi baguette I couldn't stop there I still wanted a unique bag unique a baguette bag and I still feel like I'm not done yet if I find something unique even more unique very special baguette then I think I'm, I might get it but one time I was browsing a fashion file and I found this beauty this is a baguette from a few years back 
and it's in the black calfskin leather it is more like it's more it has a more structure to it yet it still has this room um, of like being a bit flexible and I really fell in love with the white and black contrast as you guys see it has white and black contrast I really love this black and white monochrome looks and I fell in love with the I fell in love with the closure as you guys see this is how it opens it turns it turns as FF as a for Fendi and then it opens up like this and you open up like this I mean this bag I don't know why this bag was not popular back then when it just came out but I feel like it's it's a little gem that um, it was forgotten many years ago but now I found it and I love it I am so happy that I have this unique uh, older style baguette and I really love how the strap you can wear this as a top handle short um, short shoulder bag but then this strap actually um, extends and it becomes a bit longer as a long shoulder bag I love it I love how Fendi just I don't know Fendi is so creative with their strap Fendi actually is so great with their um, straps they really make it so comfortable they make it so versatile I really love how they always have a couple straps or even if they have one strap it's either adjustable or extendable and I just really love it and you can remove the strap here I wore this bag a couple of times with this strap and it looks amazing honestly it's just um, this strap is just amazing because if you love Fendi I think this is one of the top straps that you need to have they also have another other straps right now and I love them as well but I think this one is a very special one and I'm so happy that I have it this bag is I haven't I do have a unboxing video of this bag uh, I'm gonna link it here this bag has a two um, two compartments the one in the back is a bit uh, th thinner like it has a little room it doesn't really I mean it does fit a lot I think um, but it has two compartments and then the first compartment the bigger compartment has much more space I really love how if you put things inside this part opens up and it becomes more visible when it's when it's closed when it has you have nothing here it looks like total black bag but when you put something inside it does extend and it becomes like white uh here and it's just i don't know i just love this pop of white here and do i regret buying three baguettes in my collection no i love it and i would get more honestly it's my favorite bag it's like if they t if somebody asked me like which, which which bag one bag you wanna have for the rest of your life, I think it would be a very very close between the baguette and between my 19. Here we go, the 19 in the medium. They I love both of these bags. Uh, maybe a little more Fendi baguette. Mm, I can't choose. But I honestly, these bags are amazing. The first bag is I'm going to show what fits. I don't usually pack my Fendi baguette that much, but I just want to show for the video for you guys how much this bag fits. And this is, I filled up so much. I even put my sunglasses, even though it's on my head like most of the time. But it fits sunglasses and this is my favorite sunglasses from Fendi. It's an amazing cat sh cat eye shaped and it has this FF like logos um, throughout here. And I love it so much. They are beautiful. And this is how much it fits. It has this bag fits my mini pochette and it's it's filled so much with all my makeup and everything like that as you see it's so full honestly it also fits my key clay it has my house keys in it 
Um, I have a little hand sanitizer in the back from Bath and Body Works. And I have my AirPods, my wallet, my Zoe wallet from Louis Vuitton. I love this so much. I have a review between the Zoe wallet and the Victorine wallet on my channel. I'm going to link it here. And I have my card holder from YSL. And seriously, it fits so much as you guys see fits so much and yeah I'm gonna show you quickly how I wear it's great as a top handle bag and it's great as a shoulder bag and it's great as a as a crossbody bag I am 5'7 and this is uh, a bit high but I it's perfect though it's still like if you're a bit taller this might not be okay as a crossbody but I am 5'7 and it's perfect for my height I totally forgot to show you that my iPhone 11 Pro Max the biggest size fits perfectly and I actually tuck it in here in the back between uh, the back pocket and between the uh, the organizer it fits perfectly in the back and it fits amazingly amazing um, I can still because it's this bag is non-structured you don't have to be scared of ruining the structure and it looks so great it fits so much honestly look at this guys the next bag is my mini baguette and for this size this fits so much honestly because it looks so tiny you think oh my gosh what will it fit but honestly look at this it fits my big iPhone 11 Pro Max it fits still my Zoe wallet my YSL card holder and I actually uh, managed to fit in my AirPods and I managed to fit my um, hand sanitizer um, it is snug but I can still put it inside I think all of my essentials are inside and this is a great little bag for every day it's not your typical tiny mini bag it actually fits all the essentials that you need it does lose structure you just have to be really careful and kind of like kind of play Tetris here but it's okay I mean it, it as long as it fits and as long as it carries all your essentials it's fine and I wear this bag as a little top handle bag and I wear this bag as a crossbody this bag as a crossbody actually is a lot longer than the medium one as you remember the medium was like right here and this one is actually a very long one 957 it does look I mean great on my height um, and you can wear this bag as a long shoulder bag I also managed to wear this bag as a like a belt bag and I'll show you how it is I just take the strap off from one side and what I do is I go over my waist so I go over my waist one time and I attach it back to it and this becomes like a little belt bag I really love how this bag is so versatile I mean it looks amazing right it's just it's just so tiny but yet it's so stylish and edgy and versatile as you guys see I can wear this bag four ways next bag is my Fendi baguette in the black and this bag is actually a little bit more restricting the medium baguette in the beige fits a lot more and in here I could not fit my airpods and, and my uh, hand sanitizer and I couldn't fit my my um, sunglasses so what I what I can carry is here is my big iPhone in the back my key claim in the back I, I have a mini pochette my Zoe wallet and my YSL 
card holder. I can still fit a little small items in the back in the corners here, but that's that's it for this bag. It does have a little bit of a little more restricting. Um, I mean, it's still I can still fit a lot. I mean, I I still have a lot of things inside. Don't get me wrong. So I can wear this bag as a long shoulder bag. I really love the length of this shoulder bag and I love how this white pops out here. I, just, I think it's just, uh, this bag is timeless. I can wear this bag for many many years and it never goes out of style. It's just so timeless bag from Fendi. And this is in the long uh, set. I can adjust it to a shorter set here. Um, and I'll show you how it looks as a short um, shoulder bag. So when you have the bag in the short set, you can actually wear this bag as a top handle and you can actually wear this as a short, like a baguette style bag. Even when it's short, it's still very, very convenient and comfortable to wear. I just really love this and I really love that not many people know about this bag, not many people know this exact um, style from Fendi and I really love this. Um, I bought this pre-loved from Fashion File for such a good price. This was like a little over a thousand dollars but this bag gives me so much honestly. All right, that's it for my video. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope this was helpful and I hope now you understand why I'm so obsessed with Fendi Baguette and why I have three because they're all three. They're all different. I I am not, I feel like when you say that you have three baguettes, you're kind of being repetitive and getting the same bag. But honestly, all these three Fendi Baguettes are totally different, different prints, different leather, different um, textures style in different sizes is just I really love them all three and I just cannot wait to find another one <laughs> honestly I am crazy yes so please let me know if you guys have another like question about it I would love to chat down below so yeah please subscribe to my channel like my videos and follow me on Instagram where I show all of my style of the days outfit of the days and all that stuff thank you so much I'll see you later bye bye